Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Pub Crawlers. I am Matthew. This I'm um, Kevin. And today we have Mr. Craig back with us here. Thanks for having me, guys. You got it. So what do you have for us today? Uh, we're going to uh, celebrate Louisiana Craft Beer Week, September 24th through the 30th. Uh, I figured we'd bring in some of uh, Louisiana's hottest beers right now. Uh, juicy, hoppy, hazy IPAs, they're everything right now. I don't know about you. Nice. I love yeah. the juicy... New England style IPAs, you know, it's always one of my favorites. All right, so what you have first? What, what you, you want to crack into? Uh, let's let's start with uh, the juice bomb. Let's let's start with juice for the All juice right. bomb. Pour us up. Let's do it. So this is out of uh, Hammond, Louisiana. Uh, all their beers are incredible. Uh, let's pour us a little bit. Man, you guys might be able to smell this already. It's I'm getting it here. What's the brewery oh. on it? This is Norley Barley Norley Brewery, Barley. Hammond, juice Louisiana. You're going to get you can cascade, can right citra, here. some mosaic. Citra hop is probably the hottest hop in America right now because of this style of beer. You All right, guys, you want to give it a try? Cheers. Let's, Let's do it. Grapefruit, mm. a little papaya. It is. It's also very smooth. It's not too heavy on the back end to where, you know, it's not so much the hop bitter on your tongue. Yes. But still extremely smooth, easy to drink. 6% ABV, oh, so you could crush this all day. Ooh. And, you know. So, Craig, what happens when you pour it in a glass? So I've always heard you should pour craft beer in a glass and smell it. Can you tell us you a little bit about that? You release that carbonation, and you're going to get more flavor. You, you're definitely going to get more aroma. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. You know, you don't get that carbonation out. It'll right. fill you up. You won't be able to drink as much. All right. I love it. Love it. I, that's a great beer. You're right. All right. So uh, what's move the next on? beer you want to talk about? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's move on. Let's move on to New Orleans. Ooh, New Orleans, huh? So what is this? Bourbon South Holy Roller. Again, another New England IPA, style IPA. The reason people are, are gravitating to this style of beer as compared to the West Coast IPA, you don't have all that bitterness. You still mm -hmm. have that floral note, and uh, but that bitterness is going. A lot of people tend to shy away from that bitterness. All right. Let's see what we got. Similar in smell. Similar in smell. All right. All right. Cheers. Let's Cheers give this guys. one a try, too. This one's hanging out at about 80 IBUs. It's compared to the Norley Barley Juice for that. Was that 60? Mm-hmm. Yep. So you got a little more bitterness, a little more bite to it at the end. It does. It you know, does. It's, it's it's very similar, I find, but I find it, it's it's not as heavy on the back end as Juicifer. I know I said Juicifer wasn't that heavy on the back end, but Holy Roller is a little more light, so it's a little more crisp. But regardless, still an excellent beer. I know Ur uh, Urban South has been doing some really, really oh, yeah. great things with all their specialties and whatever else. And Holy Roller is their staple, man. And now we see why. It's just a uh, great yeah. beer. Jump off the interstate, take the Chapatula exit. That's Two it. blocks, it's right there. Right past Mardi Gras. That's it. I mean, guys, I, I drink I a lot of. Sip. I drink a lot of, of uh, regular lager beers, but you guys kind of sell me on this stuff. Man. <laughs> mm. One more sip, and we'll move on. All right. Next looks like we're going to uh, to Coca Dree. Yeah, so this is just right outside of Lafayette in Ornoville, Louisiana, Bayou Tesh Brewery. Um, this one's going to be kind of a hybrid. You got a New England style IPA and a Belgian kind of combined because the same thing, the Citra, the Mosaic hops, but then they use a Belgian yeast strain. So you're going to get a little different on the end. It's not going to be just a juice bomb. It's nice. Good. Put on some glasses, man. We know this guy loves juice bombs, huh? This guy's been studying, man. <laughs> Another really good brewery to go visit. Cajun bands playing, uh, you know, the fiddles, the violins. Is this the one that has crawfish ponds in the back of it? He does. I, I don't know if they, what they do with them, but they are there. Um, and, and so, is, is it true the reason they, they call the brewery LA31 or Bayou Tesh is because Bayou Tesh actually runs through the back of the brewery. That's, That's correct. Super cool. All right. Let's smell it. 
So this is Cocodri, Cajun French, crocodile, mm -hmm. alligator. Does it bite like a crocodile? I hope Taste not. Let's, let's, uh, let's do it. So you got awesome. that? Mm -hmm. You got that? No bitterness at the end. Yeah. Not Dude, just less juice. Less fruit flavor Absolutely. too. Right. And that's strictly from that Belgian yeast. This is double dry hop. So basically, they drop. They make this beer. Once it cools down, they take it out the fermenter, they put it in another tank, and they add more hops to it. That's where you get the doubling double, double of the dry, dry hop. And that, that, that wort, that liquid is cold, so it's not actually cooking the hop. So it's just getting that aroma from the hop, not the bitterness. Nice. Look at that. Learn something new every day. Huh? Learning new every day. That's it. Every every day. Day. Are, these, are these available year round or? All year round. Uh, Juicifer, like I said, super hot in the market. So when you see it, grab two. Um, Buy me one. <laughs> one for Matt. I'll take the third one. Uh, Louisiana <laughs> right now, the beer, there's so many good breweries. We could have lined up, you know, another six Louisiana beers here, and you would be just as happy. Well, not to mention, each of these breweries offers numerous beers that are just as delicious, if not better. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, these breweries, like these three, are three hot Louisiana breweries, and I see why. I mean, everything is fantastic. You can really taste that they put their heart and soul into it, that they really care about what they're doing. Well, I vote that we do another another time in Louisiana oh. Breweries and just choose a different style of beer. You're saying you, you, you want to bring him back? I think we should bring him back. Oh, I'd be happy to come back. So, right. guys, September 24th through the 30th, if you're in a bar, if you're in a restaurant, it's Louisiana Craft Beer. That's Let's it. support our Louisiana breweries. That's awesome. All thanks right. for having me, guys. Thanks. Oh, thanks right, for guys. coming. Well. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. Uh, tune in next time. We'll be right here on Pub Crawlers. And Kevin, what's your tagline right here? What's my tagline? Keep crawling with us. <laughs> there you go. There Keep you crawling, go. baby. Thanks, guys. <laughs>